In this video, we'll do a security overview of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We'll look at different aspects of security within public cloud, and then look at specific mechanism and services provided by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So let's start with shared security responsibility model and see what does it mean for the customer and what does it mean for Oracle. So as I mentioned, shared security responsibility model in Oracle Cloud infrastructure has some areas that customer is responsible for and some areas that Oracle is responsible for. In terms of customer's responsibility, uh, if you look at customer data, that includes user data and credentials and other account information, ensuring there is no insecure access uh, or insecure user access behavior within uh, within customer's account in OCI, uh, making sure that IAM policies are strong, any kind of patching is done timely, um, proper security list rules, route table and VCN configuration is in place, and any kind of key management for client-side encryption. From Oracle's side, uh, providing services to ensure customer can achieve uh, their responsibilities. So providing service, services such as web access firewall, CASP, uh, DDoS protection, load balancer, isolation for compute, network, and different type of storage, providing a very, very strong IAM framework to make sure customer can write very strong IAM policies, and finally, providing physical security. And physical security basically ensures that the physical data center is, uh, is secured with personnel and all the other compliance requirements uh, that, that are mentioned are required by uh, different agencies. So now let's look at what are different security capabilities provided by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So these seven pillars include areas such as customer isolation, which basically means that ensuring all the workloads of one customer are isolated from another customer and also isolated from Oracle, Oracle's own staff. Data encryption, ensuring that data at rest and in transit is encrypted and secure. Uh, security controls, which basically mean that providing secure application delivery and tools that are needed for that. Visibility, what is going on within your, within your uh, Oracle Cloud infrastructure account or tenancy. So providing data log and security anal analytics for auditing and monitoring actions of uh, different customer, uh, actions being performed on different customer assets. Secure hybrid cloud, ensuring if a customer has an on-premise data center and a public OC Oracle uh, Cloud infrastructure uh, account, any kind of access or interconnectivity from the on-premise network to public cloud or secure hybrid cloud uh, can be achieved and services that are provided for that, including support for any kind of third-party security solutions that customer might already have. Providing high availability, both at the data center level, within the data center, and at a regional level. Verifiably secure infrastructure. So providing transparent communication for internal uh, security controls that are implemented, any kind of third party audits and certification, and providing customer the ability to perform any kind of penetration or vulnerability scanning on, their, on the resources that they have deployed within Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So before we look at the security capabilities, uh, let's dive a little bit deeper on the seven pillars. So as I mentioned, um, customer isolation, uh, data encryption, security control, visibility, secure hybrid cloud, HA, and verifiably secure infrastructure uh, are the seven pillars. Um, in terms of what exactly each pillar contains, so for example, in customer isolation, tenants wanna make sure their workloads are isolated from other tenants as well as Oracle staff. Uh, customer wanna make sure their data is encrypted at rest and in transit. Uh, proper security controls in, in, in terms of effectively and easily managing different security policies, 
and secure application delivery, um, audit logs, security anal analysis for visibility, a secure connection from on-premise to public cloud, i.e. secure hybrid cloud uh, that is provided, high availability, uh, fault independent, that means that fault independent um, data centers uh, within a region and across the region, and then verifiably secure infrastructure would have um, transparency about processes and uh, internal security control that Oracle has implemented, uh, any kind of third-party audits and certifications. So what security capabilities does Oracle provide uh, for these different seven pillars? In terms of, uh, again, looking back, customer isolation, uh, bare metal instances, VM instances, uh, they're all uh, isolated from each other. Then we have VCN and IAM policies. VCNs are to provide network level isolation, IAM policies to provide secure control, and compartments to provide isolation within uh, a customer account. So if a customer has multiple departments, uh, we can use compartments to provide isolation for resources for these different departments. For data encryption, uh, default encryption for storage, uh, object, block, uh, uh, file storage service are all encrypted, key management services are provided, and then databases are also encrypted by default. For different uh, security controls, um, user authentication and authorization, we also use instance principles where uh, compute instances can access different public endpoint services such as object storage, or uh, interact with other uh, services without having to rotate uh, the credentials. Then network security, we have ACLs, uh, web, access of web access firewalls, for visibility, audit logs, uh, CAS based monitoring, for secure hybrid cloud, IPsec VPN, Fast Connect, as well as, as, well as uh, third party uh, security solutions, for HA, uh, fault independent data centers, fault domains, uh, which basically ensures that workloads are distributed across different physical servers within a data center. So all, not all workloads reside on uh, on same physical server in case the physical server has uh, runs into any kind of issues. For verifiably secure infrastructure, uh, security operation and compliance certification, and we also provide customer penetration and vulnerability testing to ensure that all workloads that customer has deployed are secure. 